Hi everyone, Prof Cruz here with a complete deck by deck tour of the beautiful and super fun Quantum of the Seas. We're starting all the way down on deck three and we'll make our way up deck by deck. The first spot I want to show you is the music hall. This is a giant two story venue that features various musical performances and other activities. I'll show you the second floor once we get up to deck four, but let's take a look around at what deck three has to offer. Heading in an aft direction on deck three, you'll find the ship's casino. I really like this casino, not only because it's large and offers lots of different games, but also because it's tucked away down on deck three, so those that prefer to avoid the casino can do so really easily. You don't really have to pass through it to get anywhere super important. However, if you like the casino, this is a great place to come and try your luck at the slots or a game of blackjack. Continuing to head in an aft direction on deck three, we're going to come upon two of the four main dining rooms on Quantum of the Seas. These two dining rooms are used primarily for set dining times, either at five o'clock or at 7.30. However, sometimes they also serve as overflow for the My Time dining passengers. These two dining rooms are not open for breakfast or lunch. You'll have to go upstairs to deck four for that. Now let's head upstairs to deck four to take a look at the other two main dining rooms. These two dining rooms offer a set dining time of five o'clock and also serve as the main venues for my time dining, which is served from 6.30 to nine o'clock p.m. If you're assigned to my time dining, you can show up at any time during that period and receive a table. You can make a reservation via the app and I encourage everyone to do that because the lines can sometimes be long to get in. If 6.30 is too late for you to start dining, especially if you have young kids, we found that if you show up at about 5.15, they will start to release tables for those that haven't shown up for their set dining time at 5 o'clock. Now we're gonna continue on in a forward direction on deck four to see what we find next.
Deck 4 Midship is where you'll find guest services. This is where you can come if you have any questions or any issues you need to have addressed. The Royal Esplanade on Deck 4 was one of my favorite spots on the ship, and I spent a lot of time here grabbing pizza, grabbing a little dessert, and taking in the beautiful views. Speaking of dessert and pizza, let's check out Cafe Promenade and Sorrento's. Cafe Promenade offers a number of items for breakfast, such as pastries, yogurt parfaits, and fruit. And then for the rest of the day, offers desserts, sandwiches, fruit, and other items a la carte. Everything is complimentary, and you can take it to eat in the little area in front, or you can take it back to your cabin. Now let's check out Sorrento's. For those of you that have purchased a beverage package, these machines are where you can get your sodas, and this gives you an idea of the selection available. Sorrento's Pizza is complimentary and is usually open from 11.30 a.m. to 3 o'clock a.m. There are always cheese, pepperoni, and a pizza of the day slices available, but if you want something else on your pizza and don't mind waiting for 10 to 15 minutes, they'll make up whatever you like. For pub food, you'll want to head to Harp and Horn. There is an extra charge for this venue, but we loved it. We especially enjoyed the deep fried cheesecake. We're continuing to head in a forward direction on Deck 4, and I do want to duck back into the music hall momentarily to give you a look at what the second story of this venue looks like. You'll find a full bar on Deck 4, as well as a number of pool tables that you can play for free. This giant chair was used as a photo opportunity pretty frequently, but it always cracked me up when someone was just sitting in it to relax. All the way forward on Deck 4, you'll find the Royal Theatre. This is the main theatre on board the Quantum of the Seas. It was closed while I was filming this tour, but I did come back to it to get some footage for you, and we'll show you that in a few minutes. Now we're headed aft again, because I wanted to give you a closer look at some of the shops offered on board. We're finishing up our look around Deck 4 at La Patisserie, where you can come for a cup of coffee, and then at Boleros, where you can go to listen to some music and enjoy a cocktail. Let's have a look around.
As promised, here's a look at the main theater on Quantum of the Seas. We've jumped up to deck 5 forward where you'll find the photo gallery. This is where you can come to look at and purchase any photographs that have been taken of you by the professional photographers on board. Still heading aft on deck 4, we come upon Schooner's Bar and then we'll get to Chop's Grill, which is the specialty steakhouse on the Quantum of the Seas. There is an extra charge for this, but many people find it worth it. Let's take a quick peek inside. back through Schumer's, now we're headed for Izumi. This is where you can get some freshly prepared sushi on your cruise. Again, there is an extra charge for this, but if you're a sushi lover, it may be worth it for you. If you've never had a robot prepare a cocktail for you before, you'll want to head to the Bionic Bar. This is definitely something everyone should experience at least once. Bionic Bar is located on Deck 5 Midship. If you need to book a last minute excursion or have any questions about pre-existing bookings, you'll want to head to Deck 4 Midship, to this area, where there are these automated kiosks you can use or it is also staffed by real crew members at certain times of the day. I loved all the giant art installations on Quantum of the Seas. I especially liked that one. Continuing to head aft, or toward the back of the ship, you'll come upon Jamie's Italian Restaurant. This is the Italian specialty restaurant on the Quantum of the Seas, and again, there is an extra charge for this.
be sure to hit Vintage's Wine Bar before your reservation at Jamie's. You can also come to this space to play a board game. They are provided here. If you're already ready to book your next cruise or interested in saving by purchasing some Cruise Next certificates, head to the Cruise Next desk, located on deck four aft. You'll also find the internet manager's desk in this area if you have any trouble accessing Wi-Fi or if you need information about the various Wi-Fi plans. You'll pass through the Park West Art Gallery and route to my favorite area on the Quantum of the Seas, 270, and the corresponding 270 Cafe. The cafe at 270 serves a variety of grab-and-go items for breakfast and for lunch. This is one of my favorite spots to grab just a quick breakfast or lunch before heading out to port. You'll find various wraps, pastries, there's a bagel bar at breakfast and a salad bar at lunch. You can also get coffee here, either complimentary or for an upcharge. Now we're arriving to my favorite venue on board, 270. Let's take a look around and you'll understand why. Our last stop on deck four takes us back to midship where you'll find Wonderland. This is one of the most unique specialty restaurants at sea. It's one part dining and one part experience. Be sure to check it out. While unfortunately the Quantum of the Seas does not feature a traditional wraparound promenade deck, it does have these two outdoor areas located on each side of Deck 5. We're skipping by those decks that just contain staterooms and jumping all the way up to Deck 14. There is a lot to see on this deck, starting with another one of my favorite spots on board, the Solarium. This 
area is for adults only and is the perfect place to come and relax with a good book, grab a bite at the Solarium Bistro, take a dip in the adults only pool, and take in these gorgeous views. Now we're approaching one of the entrances to the Solarium Bistro. The Solarium Bistro offers a small breakfast and lunch buffet and is a really nice alternative to the more chaotic Windjammer buffet. It also offers a delicious Mediterranean dinner, served buffet style, but you will need a reservation if you'd like to try it. It's complimentary and it was one of our favorite dining experiences on board. I highly recommend you take advantage of the opportunity. Here are the hours it was open on our sailing. coming upon the indoor pool where both kids and adults can come to swim if the weather is nasty outside. There are also several large hot tubs in this area. Do keep in mind that kids are allowed to use them, so if you'd like a hot tub without kids, you'll want to head back to the solarium. find the aptly named pool bar in this area.
we're headed to the outdoor pool where you can swim and get a tan. Or in my case, a sunburn. I also want to mention that this area we're approaching right here is where the soft serve station is. It took us a couple of days to find this because it's not located in the buffet and it's not open all the time. But if you're looking for soft serve, head to the outdoor pool area. You'll also find a large screen out here where movies and other programming are played and another bar. The outdoor pool is heated and in fact, my son spent hours out here each day, even when the temperature outside was very chilly. The little splash area we're approaching is reserved for the ship's youngest swimmers. There's also a noodle bar located near the outdoor pool. There are a couple of complimentary items served here, but most items do incur an extra charge and are served a la carte. Now let's head back inside to the place responsible for at least half of the pounds I put on during this cruise, the Windjammer Buffet. Let's have a look around. I especially love the Indian food on the buffet, and in this area there were always a couple of Indian selections, even for breakfast, and they were delicious.
Now we're popping up to deck 15 aft to two of my 11-year-old son's favorite spots on board, the arcade and the seaplex. If you think your kids, or you, are going to spend significant money in the arcade, it might be worth purchasing discounted credits in advance of your cruise. That's what we did. The Seaplex is a massive two-story sports complex and is one of the most unique features of Quantum of the Seas. It can be set up for various sports activities such as basketball, volleyball, and soccer. This venue also plays host to bumper cars, roller skating, and laser tag. While all of those activities are complimentary, you will need a reservation for both roller skating and laser tag. You don't need a reservation for bumper cars, but I do suggest showing up about 15 minutes early to get in line, as the line can be quite long at times. There's also a complimentary hot dog stand located in this area. Let's head upstairs to see what these spaces have to offer. There are so many additional complimentary things to do in this space, starting with ping pong. And another one of my son's favorite spots, Xbox One. Kids and families can check out controllers from the desk downstairs and enjoy a free 30-minute session. The desk will call out your name when your session is over, but we've found that during less crowded times, they let us go way over our allotted 30 minutes. While there is a small charge for the other machines in this area, the foosball tables are complimentary. Now 
going to jump from the very back of the ship all the way to the front of the ship on deck 15 and from my son's favorite area to my least favorite area, the fitness center. And while I can't say I enjoyed my time in here, it is a very large, well-equipped gym. So for those of you that want to keep up with your fitness routine, or maybe even try some new machines or classes, it really is a fabulous space. The fitness center is complimentary to use, and there are a few complimentary classes offered each day, such as stretch classes and ab classes. There are also a number of classes you can take for an extra charge. I'll show you that schedule in a few minutes. As promised, here was the schedule of classes offered during our cruise. Now we're jumping up to deck 16 aft, where you'll find some of the most exciting, and in my opinion, terrifying venues on board. There's the iFly skydiving simulator and Flow Rider, the surfing simulator. There are short introductory complimentary sessions for both iFly and Flowrider. And you can also pay extra for a more advanced or a longer experience. You can book those sessions that cost extra before your cruise, but if you're looking for the complimentary sessions, they won't show up on the app until after you board. We didn't want to miss out on iFly, so we booked as soon as we boarded for that very same day during embarkation and didn't have any trouble getting a reservation. Check the app regularly as new sessions will be posted daily. The climbing wall is located on deck 15 aft and is complimentary. There are introductory sessions available for youth, teens, and adults, as well as more advanced sessions for those who are experienced climbers. You'll also find my favorite art installation on board on deck 15. Can you guess what it might be? You can also come up to deck 15 to hit the track for a jog. 
Or in my case, after you've overeaten at the buffet, you might come up here to make your way around at the pace of a drunken sloth. On deck 16 forward, you'll find the North Star. This is a glass enclosed pod hooked onto a mechanical arm that will extend up 300 feet over the ship and offer breathtaking 360 degree views. There is an extra charge for the North Star while at sea, but while the ship is docked at port, they do offer complimentary sessions, which you can book through the app. As we continue to make our way around the track, I just want to remind you to be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website, profcruise.com, and my affiliated social media sites, at Prof Cruise on Instagram and Prof Cruise on Facebook. You'll find lots of additional quantum content, including menus and reviews. Thank you so much for sticking with me for such a long tour and for putting up with my mediocre cinematography skills. If you're cruising on the Quantum soon, I hope you have as fabulous a time on board as we did. Signing off for now. Bye everyone.